Hi guys, today I'd like to talk about patience. So, a lot of people don't realize this, but patience is actually a quality that is directly opposite to jealousy. In fact, patience is the exact opposite of jealousy. It's on the other side of the spectrum. And I've got a personal example to show you what I mean by this. So speaking of spiritual virtues or, you know, human um, qualities, the negative qualities, the kind of middle ground qualities, and then the spiritual or the good qualities or the divine qualities in us and humans, there usually are three steps. And these three steps are, you can kind of think of it like a triangle, like a pyramid. And uh, I'm mentioning this because those of you who have done Simply Meditation or Atma Kriya Yoga know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Trinity Meditation. And in the Trinity Meditation, we focus on these three sides of the human uh, of a human quality, the negative side, the middle ground, and then the positive side, the divine side of it. So when it comes to jealousy, jealousy is the negative side of that quality, in the middle is patience, the middle ground, and then finally the divine side of it is infinite patience. Personally, I'm not there yet. I'm not at infinite patience yet. This is the level that saints achieve. <laughs> Disclaimer, not there yet. But I have had a very tough lesson when it comes to understanding patience and learning what patience means. And um, I'd like to share that today. So this happened about a year and a half ago. Uh, my personal lesson from going from jealousy to patience. I was at a darshan, which is um, when a saint will give you an experience of unconditional love. Anyway, so I was at a darshan in Warsaw in Poland last year and um, I was helping out. And this man approached for darshan. You know, I was just helping um, and there was a long queue. There was 800 or 900 people there waiting for this. This was about halfway through. And as I'm helping, I noticed this man. He was a middle-aged man. He looked like a dad. He looked like he had had a long day at work and he'd come from work. You know, he was in, I think, a button-up or a polo shirt tucked in, you know, proper dad just an average nice looking guy and I thought to myself oh lucky guy I hate him and then I caught myself thinking oh, he's just an innocent man why am I saying such a horrible thing towards this innocent person and I felt horrible about myself I um, stopped volunteering and I went and sat down and I was just beating myself up so I did the only thing that I know how to do I sat down and meditated and in my meditation I realized that what had happened the reason why this horrible negative comment came out of me was out of jealousy this innocent man approached and went for his darshan and I instantly felt so jealous of him that I attacked him in my mind and when I meditated on it, I realized that I became jealous of him. And the reason I became jealous of him is because I wanted it to be my turn for darshan. I didn't want him to receive darshan. I wanted me to receive darshan. I couldn't wait any longer. And something in my mind, some crazy ego side of me decided that if he receives darshan, then I don't get the chance to receive my share. And so in my mind, I attacked him. In the end, I ended up waiting till the very end, till everyone else had gotten it, and I went up there. Ultimately, what I learned is that jealousy comes up when we become impatient and we f completely forget to trust that our turn is coming. So when I become jealous of another 
vlogger on YouTube, for example. Uh, by the way, there's a little plug here. I recently discovered Niche Unleashed, this amazing vlogger, Nisha. Um, her YouTube is just youtube.com slash niche unleashed, and she's amazing. But let's say I had become jealous of her. If I was jealous of her, I would be jealous because I also want 20,000 subscribers, and I also want all the popularity and following that she has and I don't trust that I will get there one day too. When that acceptance of it's just a matter of time till I am there as well. It's just a matter of time till I have 20,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. It's just a matter of time that I have that perfect house or perfect apartment, I live in that beautiful city, have that perfect life or whatever it is that I see in others that makes me jealous. It's just a matter of time till I get darshan as well. When I remember that, when I realize that, that's when the jealousy becomes completely irrelevant. I hope I was able to demonstrate the relationship between jealousy to patience and I hope that you see how the two thing the two qualities are on complete opposite sides of each other but it's on the same level it's the same aspect of our nature but two opposite sides of it if this is still confusing, if you want me to clarify, please put it in the comments below. I would love to do another vlog on this if you want, or if you have any other questions at all, just ask in the comments or tweet me or Instagram me or whatever, and I will answer it in, an, in a future vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to head to thelifester.com and sign up for my newsletter because I put lots of amazing things. It's like my personal love letter to each subscriber. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.